Hi everyone, you're welcome back to this wonderful class. Today we'll be looking at sequence and series. Sit tight and enjoy the class. I'm going to make it so simple. Now, what is sequence? In mathematics, sequence means a series or a list of things, especially numbers, which are called the terms of a sequence. Let's look at this example here. What is this? This is this is an example of a sequence. Looking at it, you're going to see that there is a, a pattern. Sequence can be either in ascending or descending order. We have two, four, six, eight, and ten. And this dot means it continues, right? It continues. And in series, what is series? Series here, you have seen that in sequence, we have commas separating the numbers. But in series, we are going to have this. We are still using this set of number here. We're going to have two plus four plus six plus eight plus ten. And so on. That is the difference. This is series. Why this is sequence? Do you understand it? The series is the sum of a sequence. In sequence, you see there is commas that is separating it. But in series, you have to add this addition, right? Now let's look at this. This is same example. Sequence, this is the first term. This is the first term down to whichever term they are going to ask you to find. And now looking at this, it has a pattern. How do we find the next term? First of all, you look at the first two numbers, the first and the second term to determine how to find it. Now, looking at it, the difference there is going to be what? Two. The difference from here is also two, two, and two. So, automatically, you will know what your next term there is going to be. And this takes us to the next step, which is the types of what? Sequence. We we'll have one finite sequence, and number two is n finite. In English, we are meant to understand that finite means what something that has an end, right? And now we are applying it to mathematics. Types of sequence, we have the first one is finite sequence. That means it has an end. An example is a set of numbers. I'm going to give you a set of numbers like this. And I also end it this way. It's an example of what? A finite sequence because it ended in five, right? Even the pages of a book, our storybooks, our textbooks, if you check it, you see that the number actually stops at a particular place. That is an example of a finite sequence. It has an end. Now, let's look at infinite sequence. Does it have an end? No. Infinite in English makes us understand that it's something without end. It doesn't have an end. An example is our numbering system. Counting our numbers, we have one, two, three, four, five, and it continues because of the dots there. It continues, right? That is an example of what? An infinite sequence. Let's look at this number, this question for you to give me what the answer would be. Let's look at this question on the board. What is the next term in this question? We have 7, 12, 17, 22, 27, and so on. We are just asking you the next term, that is, 
after 27, what number should be there? Hope you enjoyed today's class. I want to see you in our subsequent classes. Please do where to drop your comments, drop your suggestions. You can also give us thumbs up in the comment. Bye.